What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. So today Apple has seeded the iOS 10.2.1 public beta for just three or four days after releasing the public beta three. They're speeding things up and in today's video, we're going to discuss whether it has any importance for the jailbreaking or not. So spoiler alert, do not update this iOS 10.2.1 public beta. At least don't try to risk it on your main device if you wanna jailbreak it. Well, we're going to discuss where we are for the moment on the jailbreaking side when talking about Luca Tedesco's Yalu project and also we're going to talk about some important security threats that might appear. So let me start. So if you wanna download for some reason this beta, you can go to beta.apple.com, log in and then you're going to get these three steps. First, backup, then to download the profile and three, restart your phone or update your iOS. But don't do that, you shouldn't do this and you are not advised to do so. Let's talk about jailbreaking. You probably remember Yalu jailbreak, it still hasn't received any gamma release for some reason. I don't know why it's taking so long for Luca Tedesco, probably he's either caught in another thing, in another project, or he's trying to prioritize and finish things up, or either trying to um, increase the compatibility, which takes, of course, time. But for the moment, the this is the only website for Yalu Jailbreak. I'm telling you that because this is something that I actually spotted when I searched Yalu on Google. A new website called yalujailbreak.com, and it's exactly the same website, but basically a copied a stripped down version of uh, Look at the Desco's jailbreak, containing of course everything in a slightly different manner and providing a couple of things in here, but you should not try this website. Although it provides links to, uh, I don't know, to Look at the Desco's Twitter and um, Yalu jailbreak page, Yalu jailbreak page I don't think is actually the Yalu official page, so you should not try this website. I knew this thing will happen. It happened in the past with Pangu's iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak and so on, and every time a jailbreak is released, some new websites pop out with that jailbreak tool and so on. They're just trying to get that advertisement money. Do not go onto this website. You risk to get an infected IPA and that wouldn't be good. So do not go in there. This yalu.qwertywoodyup.com is the only website for the Yalu jailbreak and the only trustable source and the only mirrors you should follow are these right here. Do not try the beta for Anyways, it is working right now. It should work with a couple of attempts, but the beta three is the stable version for the moment, speaking of that. And speaking about iOS 10.2.1 beta four, let's talk about whether it is in any way important for jailbreaking or not. It is very important because if you update to iOS 10.2.1, chances are that you won't be able to go back in time to, to get to the iOS 10.1.1 because some of you did save their SHSH blobs or the app tickets, but for some reason, Future Restore Tool or also known as Prometheus is not quite available for doing that thing. And you won't be able to go back to the iOS 10.1.1, so don't, do not go to iOS 10.2. I know iOS 10.2 is bounded to get a jailbreak and QWERTY worry up or look at the Desco even say that his fix for the issues in the iOS 10.1 jailbreak will also add support for iOS 10.2, but that doesn't mean that you should go ahead and update. I got a couple of questions on my comment section. Uh, now that iOS 10.2 will be supported on other devices, but not iPhone 7, should I update my iPhone, I don't know, 5S, 6 and so on? No, you should not. If you're on iOS 10.1.1, you're better off staying there. iOS 10.2, it's still not fully supported. In fact, it's not supported at all for the moment. And just because Luca Tedesco said it's going to be supported probably somewhere in time, doesn't mean that it will definitely be. It can happen not to be. So you don't wanna risk your jailbreaking. It's very important. And speaking about jailbreak, 32-bit devices, I still don't have anything new for you, but in case you missed it, the iOS 9.3.4 has a sort of jailbreak with Trident exploit, and it's also available in IPA format. We discussed about it on January the 1st, 
and basically using this jailbreak that's in the description down below, well, sort of jailbreak, it gives you root access and so on, but some people manage to, uh, to also downgrade an iPhone 4S from iOS 9.3.4 to iOS 6.1.3 using the behind tool and that sort of jailbreak. So it's pretty much important. Yes, it's not a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5. And when I made that video about iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak, most of people said, uh, dude, we're on iOS 9.3.5. I do realize that, but there is no jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 and probably there wouldn't be any for a couple of months. So I won't lie on you. The jailbreak for 32-bit devices is actually fading away. So what's the problem? The uh, developers of the jailbreaks are no longer interested in it because not a lot of people are running on 32-bit devices anyways. 32-bit devices are so, sort of slow. They're bound to get actually deprecated in iOS 11, which means that they will no longer receive any other software updates, which means that a lot of people will drop them as well. So if you think about 64-bit devices, the first one you think about is the iPhone 5S, which you can buy from the used market for $200, sorry, uh, which means, yeah, well, it's not a lot of money for a 64 iPhone, which, yeah, allows you to jailbreak and do a lot of stuff. So this is why the 32-bit devices are no longer in the focus, because a lot of people dropped them in favor of the new 64-bit devices that are getting cheaper and cheaper due to the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and so on. So speaking about jailbreak, you can only jailbreak for the moment with Yalu. And right now on your screen, you should have the... Um, the actual compatible devices that are compatible with this jailbreak and that are stable enough to work with it. Keep in mind, the iPhone SE works now on both TSMC chip and Samsung chip, which means that if you're on iPhone SE, then you're good to go as well. And speaking again about the, um, the downgrading and about jailbreaking, if you remember Snowlist, they tried, they didn't promise anything, but they tried to actually increase the compatibility of this jailbreak by trying to insert some offsets inside uh, Look at this Cozy Yellow jailbreak, but unfortunately they failed. They didn't manage to do it and there is a problem right now. There is a tool with their name called Snowlist Pro or something like this. That is basically a um, Look at the Disco's jailbreak, yellow jailbreak, but containing a lot of tweaks and things that Look at the Disco actually uh, not included by default for a very good reason. And that's because it will kill your device in the sense of it will actually make it be not that stable and not that uh, reliable anymore. So do not install that, uh, I don't know, Snowlist Pro and any other things. They actually seem to have left the community and no longer trying this because it failed. And they also had a couple of problems with Look at the Desco and Look at the Desco say things like, uh, you know, you're spreading misleading information and something like this. And yeah, they actually no longer working on that project. But keep in mind, if you see something with Snowlist, uh, and it's not that TSMC fix, because the TSMC fix is coming from them. Do not download it. Do not download Snowlist Pro. It's very important because it will ruin your device. It has a lot of things. For example, it has OpenSSH, which will get into issues with the actual drop beer client from Look at the Desco. And it's not easy to fix. It comes with Substrate from Ija, Pija, or whatever his name was, which is again not good. And a lot of other things that shouldn't be there. So do not try it. And speaking about downgrading or upgrading or going to the beta on iOS 10.2.1, beta 4, do not do it. Simply do not update because you will jeopardize your opportunity to jailbreak. Stay on as lower firmware as possible. iOS 10.2.1 beta 4 comes with absolute no changes. But you probably remember already that Apple is only doing this for either keeping the jailbreak away or for fixing bugs that were inserted in iOS 10.2. Actually, iOS 10.2.1 public beta 4 is just bug fixes, no new features whatsoever. So do not update just for bug fixes and ruin your jailbreak. You can disable automatic updates if you are getting bugged on, on it by going to my video down in the description. That will help you to disable them forever. So this is basically it, guys. I really hope we um, 
we actually made it clear where we are for the moment with the jailbreak and what's happening and I really hope you won't update to iOS 10.2.1 to ruin your jailbreak. Do not even update to 10.2. Stay on 10.1.1. So yeah, this is it. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about this. And till the next time, peace out.